Hello, my name is Christina Michaud and I am a senior project manager over at IDEX and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my career and how I got to where I am today. <laughs> so um, I, IDEX is based out of Westbrook, Maine, but I did not grow up here. I actually grew up in Miami, Florida. So I originally wanted to be a veterinarian. It was a long held dream since I was a little girl and was going to go to the University of Florida. And so I started working at a veterinary clinic uh, when I was about 16. It was my first job in high school. And my time there was fabulous. I loved it. I worked in the kennels and then I started working in technical assisting. So I was helping with patient recovery after surgery. And, you know, I, I really, really enjoyed the work. And so when I graduated, my dad actually stopped and asked if I would help him out with the family business first. So I wound up working for his company, which is a, it's a, a product and embroidery company. And um, they do a lot of work for schools and banks. And so it got me more interested in education because I was in contact with them so much with all the different schools and seeing the work that they were doing. And I also was volunteering and doing tutoring um, because my work schedule made it so that I got out of school at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we worked from, from about seven in the morning till three. And so uh, it made it so that I was home with all these kids were home. And so I started a tutoring group and just got really interested in education. So that changed my career path a bit. And I wound up going to the University of New England instead and I double majored in history and education with a minor in business. During my time in college, I still worked with animals. So I worked uh, as a chain of pet stores, um, which was funny. I actually started working there because in genetics in college, we were baking Punnett squares and I got really into hamster breeding and showing. And so I would do Punnett squares to get specific color patterns because, um, you know, rare coat patterns show really well. And uh, it got me introduced to all the local pet stores because they would buy the ones I got that had normal patterns. So I wound up working there. And then when I graduated from college, the corporate office of the chain of pet stores actually offered me a position. So out of college, instead of going into education, I went and became the corporate livestock director uh, for the chain of pet stores. And as part of that role, my responsibilities included the um, intake, purchasing, negotiation of pricing, and um, a lot of the business aspects, as well as ensuring that the on-site husbandry was, was correct. So there was a lot of education that was still involved there. Um, there was education of our staff in making sure they understood the needs of all of our animals. There was um, customer education as well and making sure they understood what they were purchasing. So it let me use the skills that I had gotten in my degree and apply them in a new way, which I found to be a lot of fun. And it also used a lot of my previous work experience as well, having been in the veterinary field, having worked with children and, and really helped tie all that together. So while I was doing this, um, I was also on the side um, doing relief technician work for a house call veterinary service and they decided to open a practice. So they asked if I would like to be operations manager of the, the new $3 doctor practice that they were off opening. And so I left that role to become operations manager mainly because of travel. And I think when you consider a career, like the amount of travel that you need to do is kind of important. And, um, you know, at that point in my career, I didn't have anything tying me down. It was really easy for me to put in 25 to 30 hours on the road every week because all of our stores were anywhere from Bangor down to, you know, Massachusetts, I think Springfield. And so with that kind of a spread, you're driving constantly and you're out of the house. And so I was getting married and looking to settle down and really wanted something more stable. So I went to work at the clinic as operations manager in 20 minutes from my house. And what that taught me was a, is a much bigger focus on the business. How 
do we make sure that we're profitable? How do we make sure that our margins are correct, that we're managing our inventory? And so a lot of the skills I had picked up working for my dad were ones that I was able to apply in this new setting and skills that I had applied in the corporate office as well. And I think one of the nice tie-ins was as part of this, I was responsible for staff education. So I utilized a lot of different tools. You know, IDEX online learning was one of them, um, you know, online CE programs. And we did a lot of professional development work to make sure that our staff was always on the cutting edge of medicine, that they knew what they needed. And a big focus for me as well was training on communication. And I think that's really important because the way you communicate what you know, what you have for knowledge is a representation of how well you understand it. So I think that was a really important thing for our team. So I did that work for eight years and managed the clinic. We were a $3 million revenue clinic and really had kind of worn myself out. Um, as operations manager, you also do the job of everyone in there if anyone's out. So I was also technician when we had surgeries that day and somebody called out or I had to come in if the computers crashed or if there was, you know, a complaint, I was the first one up front. And so it became really taxing um, because I had small children to have to drop everything even on my days off and, and have to go into the clinic. And so I was really looking for an opportunity to further my knowledge in business and having had the experience on the corporate side before, I looked at different opportunities locally and IDEX really appealed to me. And part of that was the diversity within the company and the opportunities for growth. And so for IDEX, they have different divisions. You could go into imaging, you could go into diagnostics, you could go into water, um, they have livestock, poultry and dairy. And each one of those can meet, you know, if you have ethical things that you, you want to look at, if you are really interested in clean water and its applications, if you're really interested in how we look at our food supply and how we manage, you know, agriculture, if you're interested in pets and how we provide them the best diagnostic support, there's a way for you to go in, 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 within the company. And to me, that was really important. And also the ethical standards that they were really looking at. How do we, you know, how are we green? How do we make sure that we're equitable in our dealings, you know, across the board? And so for me, those were characteristics that were really important. At this point in time, I'd gotten really interested in project management. And I think it's because if you can write a lesson plan, you can write a project plan. And so it really represented a great parallel application for my existing skill set. So I wanted to make sure to grow within the company and that was an area of interest for me that it seemed like had different pathways. So I went to work for IDEX originally in customer support in their diagnostics team and their in-house diagnostics and so I did that for two years mainly working with customers, looking at discrepant reports, working as a resource consultant for other, other um, technical support members and at the end of that two years, went to go work for customer relations and switched over to digital imaging. And customer relations was a whole new ball game and set of challenges. And it was really interesting. And that was really the deep dive for me into project management work because, you know, resolution was really a project for each clinic. And during this whole time, I'm also pursuing my MBA. So I did another year and a half in customer relations. And I completed my degree. I had an international MBA with a focus in corporate social responsibility and was looking for my next steps and really trying to find something that tied the things I loved together. And so the position I'm in right now um, presented itself. And I work for our medical outreach team in the companion animal group. And what medical outreach does is we connect with universities, we connect with um, key opinion leaders, and we really look at what are the educational opportunities for our customers, our future customers, and how do we make sure that everyone has the best knowledge to help them treat patients coming through the door. And so it really was a marriage of a lot of the things I loved. So in my current role, I work in kind of three ways. I, I help facilitate communication 
back and forth between uh, R&D, between, you know, publications that come out. We have a newsletter that I, that I work on. Um, that I manage the mailing list and such for. And also I work with our scheduling team for customer educational events. So those are ones that we do in the field, like the seminars that I used to attend as a technician. I now help coordinate speakers for, for those, which is a lot of fun. And, and um, you know, sort of that last one is I do a lot of work around organizational planning, strategic implementation and contracts as well. So, you know, if we anticipate we're going to have a certain number of events, making sure that I get that together. If I see that we have contract needs, you know, I, I do a lot of that that as well, and payments and invoices and sort of keeping track of the finances for everyone. So, so that's a bit about me and my current role at IDEX. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Um, my email is Christina, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, uh, hyphen Michaud, M-I-C-H-A-U-D, at idex.com. Thanks so much.